What's been driving this epidemic of the overdose deaths has been the excess availability of prescription opioids. So while we've seen a geometric rise in the number of prescriptions over the last 20 years, we've seen a similar, if not even greater, rise in the number of prescription-related overdose deaths. This is what's been galvanizing attention is why so many of us are focusing on prescription opioids as sort of a part of our prevention activities. So that's sort of lesson number one is it the availability of prescription drugs and the diversion of these and the aspects of these that are related to addiction are part of this trajectory into overdose and death. Now there's been a shift from the prescription opioids to heroin that I mentioned to you already. Now we see this reflected in the admission statistics to drug treatment programs nationally. If I talked to you uh, uh, a couple of decades ago and I was talking about the patients coming in for treatment for their opioid addiction, for their heroin addiction, the first opioid that they would have been exposed to in their addiction trajectory would have been heroin. Of course, they would have started with tobacco, they would have started with alcohol and maybe many other substances, but the first opioid would have been heroin. That started shifting in the 1990s, and particularly in the 2000s, so that over 75% of individuals entering treatment for opioid addiction started with prescription drugs. What we've seen is that the number of heroin users has been increasing tremendously in our country. The data that was released by uh, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration that you see on the right side of the screen shows that nearly a million individuals uh, misuse heroin uh, in the past year. And these statistics don't include persons in institutions. They don't include persons who are incarcerated. So these are, and these are also voluntary self-admission about use of heroin. So we certainly know that these numbers are underestimates, but they speak to the increasing uh, rates of heroin use in our country. We also have seen the heroin deaths increasing dramatically in the last couple of years, where they've about tripled just in the last three years. So that some 8,000 persons died in 2013, that's our most recent data right now, uh, from heroin. Uh, I think that's a, a frightening and startling statistic, and it's why we're here today.